If you are like me and look at the calendar and realize that Christmas is like in a few days and you still have a couple like gifts to give, maybe uh, co-workers, friends, teachers. I have some great last minute budget friendly homemade Christmas gift ideas. Show you how to make this granola. I'm gonna make it a little easier. Instead of using a whole bunch of different kinds of nuts and stuff, I'm gonna use this trail mix. You could get any type of trail mix, but just make sure that it doesn't have chocolate in it because the chocolate will melt while you're cooking this. Or you could do all the individual nuts and berries however you wanted to, just portion them out. We're gonna use two and a half cups of this. Before I do that, I'm using old fashioned oats and I'm just gonna fill it up in this. This has measuring cups on it. So I'm gonna do four cups of oats. I'm gonna do the um, nuts and I'm just gonna kind of put them on the cutting board and give them a little bit of a rough chop. So that's all chopped up in there. We're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Half a cup of avocado oil. You could use coconut oil as well. Fourth of a cup of maple syrup. We're gonna do a fourth of a cup of honey. This is an obvious tip that everyone probably knows, but just in case. Measure your honey in the same container that you did the oil in and it'll come out a lot easier. And then we're doing one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're just gonna stir that up really good so everything gets coated. Then we're just gonna put it on a cookie sheet. And you're supposed to line it with parchment paper. This parchment paper doesn't go all the way to the edges, but it, sh it should be fine, right? <laughs> kind of spread it out evenly. We're gonna bake it at 325, about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. I'm just gonna stir it about halfway through. All right, so it's time to just take it out and stir it. It doesn't really seem crispy at all, so I might be throwing this back in here for 15 minutes or so. I want it to get just like a little bit crispy. I'm gonna put that back in the oven. We'll be it's back out again. It's been 15 more minutes. It looks really good. It looks nice and golden. Let's stir it around. Well, actually the top is like way more golden than the inside. I think I'm gonna put it in for just a couple more minutes. Maybe five. I just let it cook for an additional five minutes. It's nice and golden. I am going to let this cool, but I'm gonna show you how I store it and how I would gift it. I have like these little bags, which are super easy and you could just, you know, very uh, affordably buy some bags at the Dollar Tree and just fill them up, put a little ribbon on them and it's like good to go, especially if you're giving it to like a coworker. Maybe you wanna give them this inside a mug with like a pack of hot chocolate or tea or coffee or something like that. That would be a really cute, really cheap gift for somebody that you're not sure exactly what they would want. And then I also put it in this jar, which is super cute. This jar is just from the Dollar Tree. Like if you wanna give like a nicer gift, you could put it all in a basket and you could put like a jar of honey with it or maybe like a box of tea or something like that. It would be a really cute gift. And then you feel like it's a little bit more maybe if you think that that wouldn't be enough. I mean, obviously depending on who you're giving to, it's kind of how much you want to spend or maybe just depending on your own personal circumstance, how much you really want to spend. My family's been eating it for the last few days and we all love it. It's very good, very easy to make. I personally maybe would like it a touch sweeter so I might um, add some notes to the recipe. These are all like recipes I was kind of testing out also. And I'm like the queen of adjusting recipes. So I adjusted all of them. And so there's notes about every single one actually. At this point, I'm not sure what happened, but I lost my audio. So I'm just gonna voice over this part. Let me show you how to make this super easy recipe. It's, I mean, it's barely a recipe. You just get a big bowl. <laughs> and then you just take a cup of everything and mix it in. Let me just talk you through it. First of all, it's going to be one cup of pretzels. I ended up adding two cups. You'll see later I added an, a second cup and then you just dump that in. Then next I did one cup of marshmallows. Next I did one cup of peanuts. You could do any type of thing too. Like you could always add uh, or take away whatever you want. Next I did one cup of raisins. And then I ended up, instead of grabbing like a big bag of M&Ms that I didn't know if I was gonna use again, like during the holidays, I ended up just buying like the little individual packs. So I got um, a box of the regular uh, M&Ms. Then I got some of the peanut M&Ms because those are my favorite. Um, and then I got 
a box of raisinets because I thought that would be really good. I had a trail mix one time with raisinets in it and it was really good. So I was just like, let me just buy that too. Um, it's only supposed to be a cup of the chocolate candy, but you know, I added it all in. Um, and let me tell you, this is so delicious. Like, it's just like the fastest, easiest thing. And it would be so fun to make with kids or to serve for kids. If you have like a party, a Christmas party and you're having kids over this is like it's the perfect little snack mix that kids and adults will both like it's really yummy um i mix it all up and just kind of like looked at it and was like thinking that i wanted a few more pretzels so i did end up adding some more maybe another cup i think you just have a nice little festive party mix it's super cute it's super nice if you have like a kids, um, a Christmas party to go to that there's gonna be kids at. It's throw it all in a big bowl. You could serve it like that. Or you could give it to like individual um, kids at like a Christmas party. I found these jars at the Dollar Tree also and they're so cute. This is like the perfect gift to give to like a teacher or something like that. This and a little gift card or something. I mean, it's super nice, super thoughtful. Even if it's like not something expensive or not something that was hard work to do, it's a really nice thoughtful gift that you've kind of felt like you made it and your kid can help you make it too. Oh, I also had these like, these bags that I put the mix in. Um, I'll link below some like materials, but the Dollar Tree is kind of the best place to go. But if you're more of like an online order, I'll link something that you could get from Amazon or something like that. Um, you could also print out some really cute labels if you just like, search them up online. Actually, where I got this recipe from, she has some labels, so I'll link her page where I got the recipe from. I didn't print them out because um, cause that's how last minute this is. Lastly, I have these Butterfinger Bites. I'm not gonna lie, this was the, the most complicated one because I never made it before and um, I have some troubleshooting suggestion, suggestions that I'm gonna include for you. First of all, this is three cups of cornflakes. I'm gonna crush them with a rolling pin so that they end up pretty fine. So let me do that quick and then we'll come back. Two cups of peanut butter. I'm gonna mix it in the KitchenAid. You could mix it by hand, but I think this is gonna be easier. And then two tablespoons of honey. And then the cornflakes. So I'm just gonna mix this up all in here really well. This is done. You're supposed to form it into balls. So it's pretty sticky. So what I'm gonna do is actually put this in the refrigerator. I also lost my audio in this part. And what I did was I had put the peanut butter mixture in the fridge. Actually, I ended up leaving it overnight and it still was sticky the next morning. So I mixed in another cup of crushed cornflakes because Somebody in the comments had said that that might help if you added more. Well, I still don't think I added enough or maybe I needed to add some powdered sugar because I know some recipes that are very similar to this have powdered sugar in them as well. So next time I would try doubling the cornflakes and seeing how that is and if it's still kind of sticky, I might add some powdered sugar to it. Since they were kind of sticky, I ended up not using my hands to make them into the balls. I ended up using teaspoons and just dropping them by the teaspoonful and I just kept going until I was finished. It made about 60 of them. And then I put those in the freezer, well, maybe for like half an hour. Then I melted the chocolate. The chocolate was just, um, per the recipe, it was one cup of chocolate and two teaspoons of coconut oil. That ended up not being enough, so I ended up uh, doubling it later. I ended up having to melt more, but you just melt it in the microwave 20 second intervals until it's fully melted. I think it maybe took like less than two minutes total. And then I started um, dipping them in the chocolate using a fork and putting them onto wax paper lined trays. I did about 10 at a time and then I would put sprinkles or some flaky sea salt on top and then I also left some of them plain and I just did that all till they were done and then I put them in the fridge for about half an hour or until the chocolate got hard and then I was able to package them up for gifts. They ended up turning out really cute and I'm happy with it even though if I make them again I will uh, do some adjustments to make it better. They're so cute. Let me let me open this up actually because I haven't tried these. Let me just taste it right now. Mm. 
You hear that crunch? Mm. Oh yeah, those are great. You can just see. I mean, it's, it, it is easy to make. It's just that I never made it. So I had a couple technical difficulties, but these are, they're really good, really good. I still suggest you try this out. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, testing out recipes, tasting new foods and learning tried and true recipes from me. I hope you guys have a great Christmas and holiday season wherever you are. See you in the next video. If you have things, if you, what? Your kids, your kids, your kids. <laughs> your...